What is up, guys? Jay Plays here, back again with a brand new episode. Um, we're actually going to be starting up a brand new series today. We're going to be jumping into World of Warcraft Dragonflight. This game came out on the 28th of November. Currently, at the time of recording this, it is the 11th of December, and I haven't really dabbled in it. Um, we do have our level 50 Warlock that we left in the Shadowlands. Um, we're definitely going to be continuing him, but I figured for Dragonflight, we would just start up a brand new character, start fresh, experience the game with all the new changes and stuff from, from start to finish. Um, and yeah, so here we are. Um, we're going to be playing a Tauren Shaman. And I have already made the character. Um, they, were, they didn't really add any new customization effects or anything like that. The only thing they did was they added the Drakthir. Um, and I want to play one of these as well, but we'll probably save that for another day. But yeah, we're going to be starting up a uh, Torn Shaman, guys. Um, I did choose the original classic start, so we won't be in Exile's Reach. We're going to be starting in Mulgore. Um, so yeah, let's get it cracking. Great tragedy has rocked the Tauren tribes and shaken their once stalwart devotion to the Horde. A disagreement between the new Orc war chief Garrosh Hellscream and the beloved Tauren chieftain Cairn Bloodhoof led to a duel that ended in Cairn's death. With his loss, the vile matriarch Magatha Grimtotem launched a murderous attack, attempting to seize control of Thunder Bluff for herself. However, Cairn's brave son, Bane Bloodhoof, successfully repelled the attack and banished the surviving Grin Totem to the farthest reaches of the land. Under Bane's hopeful leadership, the Tauren people now seek to heal their wounds and restore the balance between the various factions of the Horde. To this end, a new generation of Tauren Sunwalkers has arisen to lead their people into the light of a new dawn and the promise of rebirth. As a proud tribesman of Mulgor, you must uphold the honor of your people and safeguard the lands of your ancestors. All right, guys, so we are in. The first thing I notice is we got a whole new interface and map and all that jazz. So this might take me a second to kind of figure out where we're at. Um, let's jump into... Okay, so they got rid of the interface option. Um, I don't even know what I'm looking at here. Okay, so it's right there now. Hmm. Action bars. Okay, so we can still put our action bars. Okay, I don't want three down below, but I'll take the one on the side and two is probably good. Let's turn on auto loot. Um, that should be good for now. I want to move this. I don't like the really big chat box, so that's probably good. We can move this over here. And that should be good. How do we hit save? Name the new layout. Um, Shaman? And yes, it is a character specific layout. Okay. So now we got our um, unit frames up here. Should be good. We got auto loot on. Let me check the sound settings as well. I just want to make sure that we're good. Audio. Turn music on. Gotta have the music. It's a vibe. All right, we should be good to go. Um, if you're new to the channel, guys, um, I do read all the quests. Um, I try and make it an immersive experience, um, and we just 
have a have a good time. So we're gonna take it slow, no rush, and we're gonna try and experience the game um, for all its aspects and everything it has to offer. Um, expansions are completely revamped in this game, uh, in this expansion, I should say. So we're definitely gonna be doing expansions. I, I would like to to mess around with like the secondary professions as well, like fishing, um, and just kind of you know treat it like it's a brand new game, like we've never touched it before. So let's go. What? I'm going to talk to Chief Hawkwind. What you see here is the work of the Quill War, young one. Year after year, they have enroached on our village. The Great Cataclysm finally drove them from their dens to spread like locusts across the land. And now you see the result. My own mother, dead from their savagery. Today, you are of age. Today, you will take your weapon and fight for the tribe and avenge the Great Mother. Follow the path to the east and find my son, Gruul. He will lead you in our strike against the Quillbore. Walk with the Earth Mother. So it's sending us east. We're gonna go talk to Gruel. So what do we know about shamans? So shamans, I've never really leveled a shaman either. Um, I have played one a little bit in classic. And I really love them in classic, but I, from what I know about shamans in retail, they're completely different. Or they feel different anyway, but I definitely know I'm definitely probably going to want to go enhance. What I like melee classes a lot, so we'll probably go enhance. Go in peace. Behold, Jehoof, the very presence of the bristleback is a blight. Nothing is left in their wake but corpses and barren land. Camp Narachi could become what we see here in, in a few days unless we stand and fight. This will be your rite of strength, the first ceremony of a torn brave. Go into the heart of the thorn snarl and kill Bristleback Quillbore, then return to me. Alright, let's go mess up some Quillbore. First spell we have right out of the gate is going to be Lightning Bolt. Just a spammable, and uh, you know, uh, basic basic damage attack. You may have noticed as well, we're not using any add-ons. We tend not to use add-ons on this channel. I like to try and make it. A base game experience. Not to say we won't use add-ons later on, but while we're starting out um, and as we level throughout the, the game, we tend not to use them. All right, that was six Quillbore. Ready for turn in. Apologize if you hear me gulping. <laughs> Hopefully the mic isn't catching it. Catching it, but drinking some coffee right now. Let's go with the the bracers. Despite their size, the bristleback greatly outnumber us. A pack can ambush, or a pack ambush can easily overwhelm even the largest torrent. Many new initiative initiates have taken up arms to defend our home. Some have given their lives, but others have captured alive, or others have been captured alive. Please find their cages and free them. The battle should keep the Quillbore distracted. Gonna free, free some braves. Looks like there's a few other people doing this quest as well.
Here's one. And when we leveled to level two, we did get Primal Strike. And test this out. Just a basic attack, spammable melee. buddy. Thanks to you, our people are free to fight for our home. We struck a great blow against the Quillbore here. I will stay here and hold the line, but you need to move on. Seek Adana Thunhorn. She has taken a few braves to the southwest to root out the rest of the Bristleback. And she is this way. Let's equip the new gloves that we got. So I think we'll probably just go maybe leather working. Well met. I don't know what professions to go for a shaman. Moral trials lay ahead, Jehoff. I hope you're prepared. Knowing the ways of your prey is another aspect of the hunt. In the lands they come from, Quilbor live in the shade and protection, and protection of huge thorn roots. When they move, their shaman seed and grow new roots for them to live in. These, these thorns mar the land and choke out other life, turning the earth around them barren. Go to the south and stop these thorn collars before they have a chance to continue. Walk with the earth One of the first lessons you should learn is to never underestimate your prey. While we were distracted by the attack on Camp Narachi, more of the bristlebacks swept in un un unnoticed and stole a cache of our rifles. You can see them to the south now, filling the air with lead. This is your right of courage. Brave the hail of gunfire, hunt the bristleback gun thieves, and bring back our rifles. How are you gonna let them steal your steal your rifles, man? Um, so we got flame shock. Um, I'm not sure if it's a setting, but it no longer tells us what the spell what the spells do if we hover over them. turn that on. Um, maybe it's in action bars? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure how we turn that on. Tells us in our spell book though. So here's the target with fire causing four fire damage and then an additional 22 fire damage over 18 seconds. Flame shot can be applied to a maximum of six targets so we can put this on them first and then knock them down with primal strike. 
and then lightning bolt from a distance. still get like earth shock and stuff we get flame tongue weapon that's pretty cool ghost wolf yeah it does not look like we get earth shock That's not a thing anymore. Done with this one. Do we have a heal? Do they not give us a heal right out of the gate? Interesting. Oh, guess we don't get a heal till four. You wish to speak? Winds be at. The corruptor slain, the Earth Mother will mend her own wounds in due time. The roots are not meant to thrive here, will wither. Balance will return. Farewell. Well done. Respect your prey and the danger it carries, but never fear it. In fear, you become prey yourself. That's deep. Finally got our heal. Walk. There are more threats to be dealt with here. The Bristleback are taming wild boars to be used against us. These armored battle boars have been abused beyond hope of recovery. They must be put down for our safety and their peace. Go to the pens to the south and slay them. Return to me afterwards. We, shall Winds be we must do more than simply hunt boars here. The eyesore that has been left upon the land must be purged to give them a wild thirst for blood. The battle boars are force-fed force raw flesh. Take this torch and use it to burn down, or burn the, the troughs, or the troughs. I don't know how you say that. Troughs? <laughs> I'm, I'm terrible. Of meat and gore to cinders. Walk with the Earth Mother. Reading is not my strong suit. Alright, so we're going to go kill some boars.
So we got okay, so we got to throw these torches. We're done. That was fast. I'm sitting there killing him, but I don't think we needed to kill him. The Torin areas where you start in general have to be my favorite in the game. There's something about these zones, or this zone, that just is totally nostalgic and relaxing to me. What brings you here? Farewell. You've not only wiped the boar pens clean, but put a stop to the horrible desecration. Well done. Good work. Those beasts could have been a greater threat than the quill board themselves if we had not taken action now. Chief Squealer Thornmantle leads these Quillbore. It was he that set upon it was he that set upon Great Mother Hawkwind and took her life, leading the attack on Camp Darachi. He fled and hid afterwards, but we found him. He lurks to the west within his foul den of thorns, fending off any braves we send in after him. You've proven yourself as a brave defender of our people. Kill Thornmantle and bring his mane back to Chief Hawkwind in honor of our great mother. Got a bunch of new gear. Let's go ahead and equip all of it. I'm going the wrong direction. Chief Squealer. Finally got Earthbind Totem. Summons a totem at the target location for 20 seconds that slows the movement speed of enemies within 10 yards. That's kind of cool just to get away. We got a two-hand sword, but it doesn't look like we can use that. Look like we can use swords. It's really bothering me that they don't have the... I can't hover over and see what the spell does. There's got to be a setting for that. Hail. Have you completed your trials, young one? She Kofwin holds the mane of Thornmantle over his head. The chief of the Bristleback is slain, Great Mother Hawkwind's spirit has been avenged. Go. The camp is safe and the quill board driven off, all thanks to you, young one. You have my personal thanks for what you have done for my mother, my son, and for all of us. It is now time to put Great Mother Hawkwind to rest. 
lay the final offering at her feet, and we will say our goodbyes. We shall meet again. Place the offering. There's balance in all things. As Great Mother Hawkwind's spirit takes its final journey, you will begin your first. Today, you have undertaken a rite of passage far more difficult than we ask of most of our youths. Be proud. Now it is time for you to continue on your journey. To the west, beyond our burial ground, you will find a path winding up the mesa. Follow it to the top and speak with Diami Windsor. Walk with the Earth Mother, friend. You will always be welcome here. May the eternal sun That was quick. It used to send you like all the way out here. Like we didn't didn't even like go down here, I don't think. What a view. Is that for Alice? Yeah, it is. We can see for Alice up from here. Wow, how cool. Let's see all of Mulgore, too. Oh. That's a screenshot. How do we... I think my key bindings are messed up. I gotta figure this out. Uh, uh, um, options, key bindings, uh, 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 camera. It's under miscellaneous, maybe. Toggle user interface F12. There we go. Yeah, this is a screenshot right here. Let me face this way. Gotta get it correct. I gotta get it perfect. That'll work. Actually, let's do this. One more. I want to get a little bit closer. There we go. All right. Greetings, traveler. If you are prepared to leave Camp Narachi behind, I will help call the spirits to guide you onwards. Ancestors watch. Look, Jehov, the rolling plains of Mogor stretch before you, our home, the cradle of the Earth Mother. Here she provides us with all we could ever need. A peaceful and verdant land, this is what you will fight to protect. Your journey will take you far beyond her sheltering arms, to the far farthest and cruelest regions of this world and beyond. Below is Bloodhoof Village. The first step on your true path begins now. Drink deep water a uh, drink deep of the waters of vision and let the spirits guide you onwards. We shall meet again. Alright, so we gotta drink the water of vision. And we turn into a bird.
What a view. So that's the gate to the Barrens. here. Bloodhoof Village. Nice. Go in peace. Welcome to Bloodhoof Village, hero. I'm glad the spirits have guided you safely here. Jehoof, there are many conflicts that wound this land. It is my hope that you will not bear witness to as many of them as our elders have. Yet there is one that I would ask you to seek. It will give you some sense of how terrible, if left unchecked, even a small threat can be to the land. Pelamain Knolls have settled to the south of Bloodhoof and in a cave to the west. They disrespect our attempts to communicate with them, and they slay the wildlife and Mogor unbridled. Words are no longer the answer. Be careful. You may have heard of the Venture Company. They are a goblin cartel, something like a tribe. While on one of these cart or while one of these cartels has joined us in the horde. The Venture Company is loyal only to greed. These greedy goblins and their workers have tried to exploit the resources of Mogar before to little success. One of our outrunners, Morin Cloudstalker, has gone to check the remains of one of the goblin caravans. If you wish to help him, follow the road out of the village to the east. Go in peace. Let's grab the flight path real quick. Let's go over here and take a quick peek at the professions. Well met. Be careful. Cooking trainer. How may I aid you? Ancestors watch over you. So skinning and leather working. But this is just a general profession trainer, it looks like, over here, where we can learn them all. I don't know what the best profession is. We wear mail as a shaman, so it should be leather working. Do I want to do something else like mining and jewel crafting or mining and engineering maybe? How may I aid you? Let's pick up let's pick up mining for sure. Goodbye. Um And let's go skinning as well. Just because I'm not sure yet, but at least we'll have the mats. Greetings. Go in I have a bundle of hides from the animals of Mogor and must get them to Thunder Bluff. A colleague there, Ahanu, will use the hides to create leather goods. Will you take the hides to him for me? The quickest way to Thunder Bluff is on the back of a Windrider. Bring the bundle of hides to Tack, our Windrider master in Bloodhoof Village, and speak to him about the transport to Thunder Bluff. We shall meet again. Peace, friend. Farewell. Are you here for a Windrider? You have something to transport? Goodbye. If you must take these hides to Thunder Bluff, then you have come to the right place. Farewell. For a small fee, I will give you a wind rider to Thunder Bluff. There's no faster way to the city. If that is acceptable, speak to me again when you're ready to go. If you're taking those hides to Hahanu, then I think he's at the Hewa's Armory at the base of the wind rider tower in Thunder Bluff. And that's right where you'll land. Ancestors watch over. We will do that. Um, I want to grab the other quest first. Well met. 
Thank you for taking the time to speak to me. I am Rule, warrior and teacher. You have obviously reached an age when you must prepare for your trials if you are to venture much further out of Moldor. If you wish a test of your strength, start by seeking out the Wind Fury Harpies to the southeast. They nestle along the mountain's edge, edge, edges away from the road. They are one of the natural enemies here in Moldor and will be a good gauge of your skill. Go in peace. What brings you here? Our sacred wells have been tainted, and I will need your help to fix this. To cleanse each well, I must create a cleansing totem. Then you must bring the totem to the well and perform a cleansing ritual. First, we will create a cleansing totem for the Winterhoof Water Well. To do this, the land must offer its aid. Hunt prairie wolves for their paws and adult plain striders for their talons. They are to the southwest. Return to me with the paws and talons. Go. The swoop is a cunning bird and difficult to find and hunt. A collection of swoop quills is a badge of cleverness and determination for a hunter. If you are willing to take up this task, then enter the plains and hunt the swoop. Bring me their quills and bring honor to your clan. The swoops may be found anywhere in Morgor, but your eyes must be sharp to spot them, and your hooves must be quick to catch them. Be careful. Okay, so a few different options here. I'm gonna head this direction. I will start doing the quest over here. Pretty much just need to kill everything in this area. Flame tongue weapon. Seven. Almost there, actually. Next level. I need to be skinning. I can skin the plane strider too.
Oh, I can hit those things super far away. That's pretty dope. Done with the prairie wolves. Need more swoops, though. I don't know what's more efficient, if we should use Lightning Bolt more, or try and go for the Primal Strikes. Probably just Primal Strike if once they're in melee range. Alright, let's go do the Harpy Quests. Yeah, I feel like that's faster. Just to try and stay mail or distance from them right now. Yeah, I just like one shot that guy. I am getting a phone call. gotta head back uh, closer to the town we gotta kill some gnolls respond to my friend here
Okay. So we gotta kill 15 of these guys. Heal looks pretty cool. The animation for it. here. Probably should grab that. When do we get other totems? Oh, we do get Earthshock, but it's an elemental spell. Hmm. So we only get that if we go if we go elemental. don't have a cloak so I guess equip that one no new gear I wish we could use the sword that's a huge upgrade <laughs> oh well we need to find this guy that walks this path
Does he just stay in one spot now? Well met. If Amo has already explained the minor quibbles of what kind of goblin we'll be driving from our lands, let's get to work. A few days ago, we found a Venture Co. caravan traveling under guard on the northern shore of Stonebowl Lake. We'd lost two of our numbers in an earlier battle, so we're quick to attack and lay waste to the caravan. We left their supply crates, thinking that our torches would destroy anything of value, but given the Venture Co., salvagers have been spotted near the burned wagons, maybe we were wrong. Perhaps you could go to the caravan and examine the contents of the crates. Yeah. Might as well do it. Awesome finding just uh, unskinned corpses out in the wild <laughs> from other people that you can skin. I'm out of range. Okay, so let's kill our way into this. All sides of the crate are stamped with the sign of the Venture Co. Mining Division. Notes printed carefully on the side of the carton indicate that the contents are due for processing at one of their central plants. Tying open the lid reveals a tightly packed assortment of ore and minerals, more evidence of the Venture Codes, mining operation in Mulgor. On top of the ore and minerals you remove a tightly bound sheaf of papers. Up in the foothills to the east you can barely hear the sounds of work, and you see smoke rising from a large fire. So up there somewhere? <laughs> So we gotta go back to this guy first. We got flame tongue now. I love the fling, flame tongue. Looks pretty sick. Like a, the little enchantment it gives you weapons. Too bad it doesn't do like that little animation anymore. It doesn't like <laughs> explode when you hit the target. But hey, LJ Huff, have you learned anything about the Venture Co's plans and operations in our homeland? If they plan to exploit our lands as they have others, the Outrunners will be quick to put an end to it. 
It does indeed appear that the Venture Co. is attempting to rob us for our natural resources. It is good to know this is true, and now it seems we must do something about it. Goodbye. Ancestors watch over. This explains the buildup of Venture Co. employees and equipment we've seen in Mogor. These goblins, their company, these go those goblins, their company is expanding too quickly for their own good. It's set, it's, jeez, it's how they say, show a goblin something and you can hear the scales in the background. Greedy little things they are, unfortunately for their business enterprise. We Torn cannot allow them to conduct their operations in our lands. Go to their mine northeast of the ravaged caravan and send them a message. Go in peace. Ancestors watch over you. According to the documents you salvaged from the caravan, the Venture Co. created many plans to attempt to drive us from our lands here, so they could have free reign to plunder our lands. The depths they would sink to accomplish these, their goals disgust and appalls me. I want the main or the mastermind behind their plans killed. His name is Supervisor Fitzbrocket. You will find him at the Venture Co. mine east of the Ravaged Caravan. Bring me his clipboard. We shall see if we find out anything useful. Farewell. So we will probably hold off on that quest as well for now. I'm gonna go turn these ones in. Got a few to turn in, looks like. Have you found the swoops? Do you have their quills? Goodbye. I know that gathering these quills was not an easy task. In doing this, you prove that you are a shaman of merit. It is good to have you at Bloodhoof Village. Be careful. Little does he know that, yeah, it was actually really easy to do that. <laughs> uh, do you have the paws and talons? You have done well. I will take these and bind their power into a totem of cleansing. I have crafted the totem to cleanse the Winterhoof water well. Now you must take it to the well and perform a cleansing ritual. The well is to the southeast, but be warned, whoever did this may still be there, laying in the wait. This may prove very dangerous. Be careful, but do not let the defilers of our well escape. We shall meet again. We also need to set our hearthstone to Bloodhoof Village. What brings you here? Jehoof, it is good you've taken the task seriously. Respect to the land and its creatures is important. Death and life are a circle, a necessity. One cannot exist without the other. Take time to ponder this and do well to never forget it. <clears throat> Damn, these torrents are deep. Death and life are a circle, a necessity. One cannot exist without the other. That's 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 deep. It's very truthful. Until recently, a group of dwarves intruded on our lands to the west, carving the earth apart senselessly to search for treasure. When the very earth itself tore apart, the spirits of the land they had abused rose up and took their revenge. The agitated earth spirits still roam the former dig site. We must offer them appeasement. Take this drum with you to the west, Play, play to the spirits. The rhythm may calm their fury and confusion. Be careful. Peace, friend. The wind furies are deadly foes. Their strength in battle is only rivaled by their desire for fresh meat. Goodbye. You have done well. You seem well prepared to travel onward. Let the wind always be at your back. Ancestors, watch over you. So let's do a couple things. Let's sell. 
And let's set our Hearthstone to Blood Hoof. Ah, I have just the thing for you. May the eternal sun shine upon me. I'm just gonna sell... Mostly everything. I want to keep the mats. Anything that's a crafting region. Region. I want to keep that as well. Okay. Walk with the earth. Let's go peek in here real quick. I want to see what we can cook. I know we picked up cooking. I can just place my fire anywhere. Alright, everyday cooking. We can make eight of the charred wolf meats. This thing is totally different. Not really sure what the accessories and the cooking tools do. Huh. Profession tools and accessories can be equipped into these slots. This equipment can help make you better at your profession. Interesting. The winds My grandfather told me stories about his battles with a strider named Mazranachi. He told me of its demonic red eyes, razor sharp talons, and venomous bite. As fortune would have it, while traveling across the plains, I encountered it, and it took a nasty bite from my shoulder. It was as terrible as my grandfather described. I have gathered all the parts of the remedy I need to cure myself, except the flatland cougar femur. I grow weaker by the moment. Please help me. Go. Alright, so let's sneak over here, let's cleanse this well real fast. Real quickly. Quest said that there's someone that would be responsible for it that's by the well, I guess, that we have to kill. But they might have just been talking about these grim grim totem stragglers. Oh, no shield. Car's level nine. Bummer. Okay. And then we need to get a flatland cougar femur. Let's keep an eye out on the cougars.
Hey, it's uh, Kyle. Kyle the Frenzied. Peace, friend. The Grim Totem. Mule Scowls. I'd hoped to see the end of my days before Torin attacked other Torrens senselessly on the very plains of Molkor. But be proud. You have done a great thing for the land and for our people. Ancestors. There is more work to be done. We must create a new totem to cleanse the Thunderhorn well. You must gather the claws of the predators of the Molgor Plains, hunt prairie stalkers for their stalker claws, and flatland cougars for their cougar claws, then return to me. You will find the prairie stalkers and flatland cougars to the east and the west. Oh. So once again, these guys are just all over the place. Here. You need to grab the Kyle quest anyway. Will you help me find my dog? Greetings, traveler. Help, Jay Hoof. My prized puppy Kyle has run away. I just know he's running around Bloodhoof Village, lost and hungry. I know, we just we just saw them. Just saw him, like, literally two seconds ago. Will you find him and feed him? Once he eats, he will settle down and come home. To feed him, you will need to find food. His favorite meal is tender strider meat. Just venture east and you should find plenty of striders. Hunt one down and take its succulent meat to Kyle. When you see Kyle in town, put the meat down and he is sure to come to you. So, funny story about this quest, and I'm sure many of you know, um, but I guess there was a, it's kind of dark, but uh, there was a kid back when uh, World of War, I think it was like TBC or something, that um, he was, he had like a, I think it was like cancer or some sort of terminal illness, and uh, Blizzard let him create his own NPC and voice act the uh, the character, and uh, that was his NPC. And uh, unfortunately, he he did end up passing away, but he his NPC is still in the game to this day. I think that's really cool. Very sad, but it's cool that uh, his kind of his his NPC will live on in World of Warcraft. So we're killing the prairie stalkers. I'm still trying to keep an eye out for the cougars. There's one right there, it looks like. Got the femur. for getting the skin. I did not mean to annihilate that gazelle. Sorry, buddy. In this last one. 
There's a plane strider. I don't think that's the plane striders we need, though. Is it? No, I think it is. For some reason, it's just not showing us that we need it for a quest. Two more of the Stalker Claws and two more of the Cougar Claws. Cougar. We just need the stalkers. One more, to be exact. Here it is. Okay. We sure don't get very much experience for killing enemies. Let's get back in here. We need to feed Kyle. And we need to turn in these two quests. And that should get us at nine. My fever grows worse and I find my mind drifting into delirious nightmares. I should have known that I wouldn't be able to handle a beast my grandfather was una unable to defeat. Do you have the ingredients for the remedy? I fear if I do not clean the infection soon, it will be the death of me. The ah, thank you, Jehov. Using the items you have brought me, I'll be able to create the remedy I need to stop the spread of the infection and eventually cure it completely. I owe you my life and thanks. But I'll never forget the screeching call when Mazranachi came up, came up upon me, the blaze of color as its beat descended. Be wary on your travels. Ancestors watch. Keep an eye out for Kyle. There he is. Come here, Kyle. Come here. Come here, boy. Come on. All right. Get. Eat the meat. Eat the meat. Eat the meat. The winds guide you. Jehov, do you have the claws I sent you to gather? Thunderhorn Waterwell grows more tainted with each passing hour. Thank you. The purity with which these beasts hunt is vital in the creation of the next cleansing totem. The Thunderhorn Well is a symbol of my own tribe, and to know it is being desecrated by our own kind raises a fury in me I haven't felt for years. We shall 
Oh, nice. We just got lightning shield. Digging it. The Grim Totem are a tribe that believe all of Kalimdor should belong to the Torrin alone. Their hate and anger led to a corrupting thirst for power. Magatha, their leader, poisoned our High Chieftain, Karen Bloodhoof, and attempted to take the Thunder Bluff for herself. She was defeated and the Grim Totem exiled. Now they seek to ruin Morvor itself, as they are driven out. Quickly, Jehoof, you must go to the Thunderhorn Waterwell in the north and perform the ritual. Okay. And last but not least here, we're going to go ahead and turn in the Kyle quest. I'm excited that we got um, Lightning Shield. It's a pretty important spell. Surround yourself with a shield of lightning for one hour. Melee attackers have a 100% chance to suffer 5 nature damage. Only one elemental shield can be active on the shaman at a time, so just anytime we get hit, Will they take 5 damage. Me find my dog? Fantastic work. Kyle has come Kyle come has come home. Oh, oh wait. <laughs> Kyle came home as soon as he ate and went straight to bed. Thank you for your help. You got it, man. No problem. All right. Well, um, my clock says an hour and 17 minutes on this episode, so we went a little over. That's okay. Um, I don't ever mind going a little over, especially on the first episode. I feel like we got a lot accomplished. We went from 1 to level 9. Um, we did get a new shield. I'm going to go ahead and equip that. It's much smaller. <laughs> Not as cool looking. to sell the items that are in our bags real quick. Looking for something special. Let's put a fire down. Nice little cozy fire. Ah, so we can uh Cook up some uh, charred wolf meat. Can you resize this window, or is it just just giant, like period? All right, um, that's probably it for the for the day, guys. Um, I'm really excited to get this series going. I'm really excited to take on Dragonflight um, and see what it's about. I've heard nothing but good things so far. I heard uh, that it's really what the player base wanted from this expansion. So I'm excited to give it a shot. Um, but yeah, guys, I will, uh, I'll catch you guys next time in episode two. So stay safe out there and have a good rest of your day, morning, afternoon, whatever it is. And uh, yeah, catch you guys next time. Peace out.